the Blackhawks have an opportunity to make an absolutely perfect signing for the rest of this season after the contract termination of Nick Bonino. We also have a major update and some very good news for Chicago Blackhawks fans that the Blackhawks will be hosting the next Winter Classic in 2025. So we're going to be talking about both these subjects here in this video. But before we get into all of that, we know that 83% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed to the channel. So if you're looking for a spot to get all your Chicago Blackhawks news, updates, rumors, reports, you're in the right spot. Make sure to hit that sub button. Join us along the journey to the number one overall pick and Macklin Celebrini, hopefully. Now, like I said, we're going to get hit right into this one here. We're going to talk about Nick Bonino first. Could the Blackhawks really be eyeing Nick Bonino after getting his contract or bound to be terminated by the New York Rangers? Now, we know Nick Bonino was a player who's kind of been all over the league. He's been on many, many teams. And we also know the uh, the infamous call in the playoffs of the come commentator going, Benino, Benino, Benino. But, you know, Nick Benino would be an absolutely perfect signing for the, uh, the Blackhawks going forward for the rest of the season. But this comes out from uh, many other people. But this one here is Chris Johnson says, expect Nick Benino to consider other NHL options once his contract is terminated for or is formally terminated by the New York Rangers. There have been uh, inquiries. Reminder that he would need to sign somewhere by 3 p.m. Eastern time on March 8th to remain eligible for the Stanley Cup playoffs, which I think there'd be no trouble in being signed by then. I would say it'll be happen uh, way before. But the part really here that uh, makes me think about this whole thing of the Blackhawks possibly being in contact with Nick Benino is Darren Drager saying tires are kicking on the veteran forward. Uh, it's already underway, which, you know, is a very good sign for Nick Benino. Obviously, you don't like to see a player like that just go out of the NHL if that were his last game. Uh, the way it, that it, it has been, or the way it did, uh, you know. But Nick Benino, a very interesting player, being uh, a veteran, being in a lot of playoffs, and I think this would really help the Blackhawks, similar to, you know, the guys the Blackhawks have right now in Nick Felino. So, uh, Nick, what do you think about this? Now, th I think this is definitely something that could happen. However, you know, there really is no uh, guarantee in anything like this happening. Well, you know, it's one of those guys that once he's on that team and one, that, that that's another roster spot, right? Like, we know the Blackhawks aren't necessarily trying to win every single game uh, the rest of the year. Nick Benino's only got, I think, like four or five points in like 40-something games this year. Uh, it's a veteran guy. He He's a roster spot. Uh, and it gives you a little bit of flexibility to do what you want with one of the, the younger guys because you know Nick can be, Benino can play at the NHL, NHL level still. He has been this season, not, not quite offensively producing, but – it's another roster spot. Like I said, you got to have someone to play those last 30 odd games. And Nick Benino is definitely a guy like a veteran guy that can help out with that. Yeah, I think he's also a perfect role, too, because he's not going to be a guy that's going up, uh, like you said, and putting up points. He's only got five or six points a season. I'll pull up stats here once again. Yeah, five points a season. But you can see he's been pretty consistent in his career. He's not gonna. He's not a guy that's going to blow you away for points. Uh, you can see a lot of mid 20s, mid 30s uh, with a high of 49. But he's a guy that can definitely help out the lineup for now. He's not going to go out and score many goals. He's not going to go out and put up points, which is really is what the Blackhawks don't want right now. You know, they want, obviously, their players performing good. They want everybody uh, to be working together, but they don't want to be going out and dominating games. They don't want to be going out and winning all these games and getting into, um, you know, the black hole spot of the draft, I guess you could say, really between uh, 20 and 15. You know, that's the area where... You're in a you're you're not good enough to make the playoffs, but your pick isn't good enough to be for where you are, and that's just a really bad situation, a really bad area to be in. So I think Nick Bellino would definitely help out this roster uh, by joining and teaching uh, a lot of the younger guys what from what his experiences have been, uh, you know, playing with all these legends that he's played with in his career so far. Uh, I think that there's a great opportunity for the younger guys, and the Blackhawks wouldn't need to pay him very much, you know regardless of if they had to or not. They have a lot of cap space. Uh, a lot of injuries still are a factor on this team. So maybe consider Nick Benino. You know, if they aren't already, I think it wouldn't be a bad decision to, uh, you know, add the depth to the team, make a move here or there if need be. But let's move on to our second topic here today, which is an awesome thing, uh, which is the Blackhawks are hosting the Winter Classic. Now, I know there's a lot of people, uh, we've seen it on Twitter or X or uh, whatnot, uh, people complaining that the Blackhawks are getting another Winter Classic at home. Now, you can say that. I can agree with that. You know, you'd like to see a few different teams here and there going into the Winter Classic, but there are one. there is one really big reason, which I think a lot of people probably recognize by now why this is the case, you know, uh, and, and that is Connor Bedard, really. From Ben Pope here, uh, Connor Bedard's NHL debut drew higher TV ratings than the Winter Classic this season. Uh, that won't be the case next season because he will be in it, and I really think that, you know, he's the sole factor 
that this winter class is going to be taking place in Chicago. You know, Chicago obviously don't have the lineup right now that they would want to to have or they like to have to host a winter classic, but they're going to be bringing in, uh, you know, I would say very close to the stadium capacity of Wrigley Field uh, to get this, you know, to see Connor Bedard play outdoors. And I think that is the really uh, the only reason for right now, at least. But Nick, what do you think about this? It's a pretty cool event for the Blackhawks fans and the city of Chicago. Well, it is, and we talked about it in the last video that Connor Bedard is the Blackhawks' asset. He's your future guy. He's not just the Blackhawks' asset. He's the NHL's asset, and if you're the NHL, this is a no-brainer business decision when you really think about it, and I'll explain why. Is Connor Bedard is the future, the face of the league, ever, like future face of the league. Right now it's McDavid, but Bedard is well on his way to being that guy in the future, and uh, he started off with a pretty good rookie season, so... What what the NHL is trying to do here is they understand that may, maybe next year and for the next few years, their future face of the league is not going to be in the Stanley Cup playoffs. He's just not going to be. The, the team isn't good enough around him. The Blackhawks are in the middle of a process right now. So if you can get him to the next biggest stage, and there's no All-Star game next year, don't forget. So that's another big stage where a lot of people watch. Uh, so it's not he's not going to be there. Uh so then if you can get him to the next biggest stage, which is probably the Winter Classic uh, for the NHL, get him there. And that that's what, exactly why they're doing this right now for Chicago. I know they've had it before, and I know there's a lot of people that are probably mad about it, like you said. But it's a business decision for the NHL, and it's I think it's a very, very good one. Yeah, no, like, like you said, Bedard is going to be the face of the NHL. He's currently the face of Chicago. And, uh, you know, it just kind of shows the impact that he has on the NHL already. You know, that that what Ben Pope said is an absolutely crazy, crazy stat. That his NHL debut drew higher than the Winter Classic. Many people watch the Winter Classic just because it's an outdoor hockey game. But having, you know, a, a 19, 18, I can't remember how old he was when he played his first game. An 18-year-old kid in a first regular season game going out and, you know, having that amount of, uh, that, that quantity of TV viewers... That just shows the point he's at already in his career and what the NHL is trying to do, you know. Second of all, this just looks awesome. You know, Wrigley Field, such a historic stadium. Uh, the city of Chicago, also such a historic stadium with all the sports, the Bulls, uh, the Blackhawks, you know, the Cubs. And I think it is just a nice city to do it in, you know. The the fan base is there regardless of if you're a hockey fan or not. So I do like it, and obviously it's going to be a very exciting uh, time when this does arise. But like you said, Connor Bedard is the is the reason this is happening, and I don't really think there's a debate about it, but um, it's going to be good to see. You know, Jason Dickinson was in the 2020 Winter Classic. He said the ice was garbage, but once game time arised, uh, you know, it was awesome. He loved it, and it was just, it's going to be a good time for a lot of these younger guys. Maybe we see Nazar, a few of these other younger kids up in the NHL, which would be uh, pretty cool, you know, in your rookie season to go out, play in the historic stadium like Wrigley Field in the NHL Winter Classic, you know, uh, a lot of young kids' dreams, so... Yeah, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be cool when it does happen, obviously. But you know, that's all we got. Nick, you got any final thoughts before we end this one off here? No, I think you much co- I pretty much covered it there. Like that that I I can't get over. Like I, I get that people are angry about like the Blackhawks have been in it so much with uh, with Taves and Kane, obviously. But it's the same reason they got it back then. This is a business decision. You're gonna see Connor Bedard play on one of the biggest stages in the NHL. The TV ratings are going to be through the roof. And who knows, you might have Nazar, like you said, and maybe, maybe, just maybe, Macklin Celebrini will be there with Conor Bedard next season to see that. So I think the NHL is preparing for that one. Yeah, the NHL certainly seems to be banking on it. But <laughs> now that's all we got for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to give the video a like. Make sure to hit the sub button as well if you did enjoy. You know, we post daily Blackhawks content and other content around the NHL. So it's a very good time to be a Blackhawks fan. Might hurt for now, but... It's going to be good. Trust me. We believe in this team. But that's all we got. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. See you later.